male reproductive system the male reproductive system is located in the pelvic region it consists of a pair of testes accessory ducts accessory glands and external genitalia testes are the primary sex organ of male and suspended in the scrotal sacs scrotum is a pouch of pigmented skin arising from the lower abdominal wall and hanging between the legs it is divided internally to right and left scrotal sacs by a muscular partition called septum scroti this is externally marked by a median ridge called raphe in a fetus the testes originate in the abdominal cavity just below the kidneys but later during the 7th month of development it descends permanently to the scrotal sacs through a passage named inguinal canal each testes is oval in shape and in adults it is 4 to 5 cm long and 2 to 3 cm wide testes is enclosed in a dense fibrous coat tunica albuginea inward growth of which divide the testes into around 2 to 300 lobules called testicular lobules each lobules consist of 1 to 3 highly coiled seminiferous tubules these tubules are lined inside by germinal epithelium germinal epithelium consists of two type of cells cuboidal cells called spermatogonia and pyramidal cells called sertoli cells or nurse cells spermatogonia or the sperm mother cells produce sperms sertoli cells aid in the process of spermatogenesis by providing nutrition to the developing sperms the interstitial spaces between the semifernous tubules contain small groups of large polygonal cells termed leydig cells or interstitial cells they secrete male hormones called androgens especially testosterone testosterones are concerned with the regulation of the activities of male reproductive organs and secondary sexual characteristics that is facial hair pubic hair adam's apple etc accessory ducts of the male reproductive system include rete testis vasa efferentia epididymis and vas deferens the seminiferous tubules unite to form a network of tubules called the rete testis it connects all seminiferous tubules with another set of tubules named vasa efferentia vasa efferentia are 15 to 20 in number and are connected with the epididymis they form the initial part of the epididymis at some locations they bear cilia to help in sperm transport epididymis is a tightly coiled tube about 6 meter located on the posterior margin of each testis the epididymis stores sperm temporarily it has three regions the anterior caput the middle corpus and the posterior cauda cauda epididymis is connected with the scrotal sac by a cord known as gubernaculum epididymis leads to vas deferens or vasa deferentia it starts from cauda epididymis ascends to the abdomen through inguinal canal and passes over the urinary bladder vas deferens receives a duct from the seminal vesicle and forms a common duct the ejaculatory duct which finally opens at urethra seminal vesicles are paired and elongated glands at the lower part of the urinary bladder that opens to vas deferens they secrete seminal fluid which contains fructose prostaglandins and various enzymes it is slightly alkaline and constitutes about 70% of the semen the prostate gland is a chestnut shaped gland which lies at the base of the urinary bladder it surrounds the first part of the urethra the secretion of the prostate gland the prostatic fluid is slightly acidic due to the presence of citric acid which helps in sperm motility this secretion is also collected by vas deferens along with the sperms and is discharged to the urethra corpus glands or bulbourethral glands are pea sized glands lying at the base of the penis and open directly to the urethra its alkaline secretion acts as a lubricant for penis and also neutralizes the acidity of any urine traces left in the urethra this secretion is produced during sexual excitation secretions of all these glands are collectively called seminal plasma sperms along with seminal plasma constitute semen 
Average volume of semen in an ejaculation is 2.5 to 5 milliliter. In males, urine and semen pass through urethra.